Hey everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. We are joining our Venus Explorer here in orbit as it approaches its node to intercept Venus uh, through the aid of time warp. Well, uh -oh. so close, so close. Connection established. Hullage. Come on. And ignition. Oh, thank goodness. Alright. Go ahead and unlock that again so that it can start to charge. I don't think I locked any of the other ones. Turn SAS back on now. Alright, so <laughs> the burn has started. Finally. It's only many hours late, but we're still on course. Nothing has exploded, knock on wood. Everything's going fairly well, so we'll probably uh, speed this up a bit in post. So uh, enjoy the scenery. I have to admit, this stage is completely pointless. Uh, I think we actually would have gotten back that 1200 meters per second uh, that we're getting from this stage by getting rid of it entirely, and the weight savings would have put it back into the stage that we just ditched. But um, I think this is just a repurposed uh, older rocket, or older version, so there's that. But, you know. <laughs> Uh, our designs are evolving. We're getting better. That's what matters. But yeah, don't expect this AJ-10 to be on, well, this version of this ridiculously sized stage to be around. Uh, I don't know. I think it's a carbon copy of the one that sits on top of the R-88 for our lunar insertion missions, of which we will be trying to send another mapper to the moon, hopefully without me flying past the node again. But uh, we shall see. Looks like we've finally broken free of uh, Earth's sphere of influence, or at least have built up enough speed to do so. We've only got about a hundred and eighty or so meters per second left in the burn, and a hundred and ninety or so meters per second left in our stage. So the AJ-10 might be hanging around for a little while longer than anticipated. I'm not going to let that Delta V go to waste. It might be just enough to do a course correction. There certainly is enough hydrazine in this thing, even though I've been leaning on the pedal for most of this burn. All right, and we're coming up on shutdown. 70. Now, well, good thing it's taking a very long time. Oh, I'm off angle. Of course I am, because I stopped paying attention to where I was facing. All right, 2.4 or so meters per second to go. 
we're going to do that on the back of these uh, reaction control thrusters. Hopefully. Although it will probably be a game of chase the node, and then we're going to go out and see exactly how disappointing our ending velocity is, our ending trajectory will be. Uh, I will of course be plotting a correction burn, because I can only assume how absolutely horrible this has gone. And man, this extra two meters per second is really... It's just taking all the time in the world. And thanks to physics acceleration, nothing has exploded. That's good. Alright, well, I'm just going to go ahead and round this out myself. But uh, that's going to do it for today's episode, everybody. Thanks for hanging out. I do appreciate it. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you got any questions or comments or anything you want to holler at me about how lame I am <laughs> and how much I porked up that build, please feel free to share them with me in the section below. Anyway, I will see you all tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you later. Alright, well, I know that episode just ended, but uh, we need to do a 10.1 meter per second correction burn, and then that's it. We're on a collision course, hopefully. So, we're just gonna... We're actually gonna use our AJ-10 for this, because there's not much left in it, and it'll take absolutely forever. Uh, we're within 20-some-odd seconds or so. And there it goes. Oh. 0.2 meters per second. Let's see where that puts us. Oh, wow. Look at that. Into a polar orbit, which is sub-ideal, and a collision course, which we will stay with. It, we will correct out of that once we are uh, in Venus's sphere of influence. So, in all earnesty, that is actually going to do it for this one. Thanks for hanging out, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.